What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met before, my name is Hollow. It's nice to meet you. Welcome in. So we're doing our Friday You Pick We Play. I'm going to be joined by a few different people today. I think Lido is going to be joining us outside of voice chat. We have Stick, we have Dio, we have Cawther, and me, of course. We're going to play a bunch of games that you guys have recommended. Um, really looking forward to this one. There's a lot of cool ones. I did bump one to the top of the list for today, Roblox Library 2024, because I figured you guys would get an absolute kick out of this. It's awesome. Like, I was so surprised. I'm going to go ahead and hop in the voice chat real quick, and then we'll get started. Hi guys, how's it going? Not much, not much. Let's see, Roblox Library 2024. So we have a good list today, actually. We have a pretty big list. So what we're playing today, Roblox Library 2024, Crazy Cards, Eat the World, Pizza Battle, Forklift Simulator, Idiotic Investing, and The Deepest Pool on Roblox. Oh, yeah. Some of these are very short, though, so it's not too bad. But, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty fun. I played that one with, uh... <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, basically, you drop down some boxes, and you use your forklift to move it over to a designated drop zone that you have to, like, line up and stuff. It's, it's kind of fun. It's a lot of fun. All right, you guys are going to get an absolute kick out of this. This is the coolest thing I found. I bumped it to the top of the list because I think it's worthy. Uh, but it's a Roblox library that has almost 4,000 workable books in it. You can come in and you can actually read the books. And it's amazing. I'm going to turn down the sound real quick. Oh, goodness, that's loud. There we go. Oh, there's Malia. <laughs> I didn't realize Malou was here. There's Lido. Lido's here too. <laughs> so there's some cool things you guys need to know about this library. You can be writers for this library. You just have to contact the owners and like reach out to them, but they're always looking for people to write books. Because of copyrights, they can't really copy books that already exist. Um, but they bring in people from Roblox to write books. I was telling Stick he needs to get in here and write books about, like, birds and stuff. He loves birds and, like, bird identification. He would be so good at it. But you could literally just talk to the owners and be like, hey, I have a book I want to write about elven heritage or, you know, anything like that. They have everything from astronomy to politics to Roblox history to how to code Roblox games. I kid you not, there's everything you could possibly need in this library. It is the coolest thing. So we're going to go in here. They have like, you could, they do short stories. And honestly, yes, they have poetry. The library post. Most recent publication, archives, it's it's so neat. I am so sorry if I don't see chat, you guys. I'm slightly distracted. But, like, they have Roblox history, they have... And if you click the books, there's pictures. There is pictures! And it's so cool. There's world fiction, there's historical fiction there's fantasy there's horror there's all kinds of stuff as long as it's roblox friendly and people write it it's in this library it is the neatest thing Let's see Let's see if i can find one that looks interesting maybe we could go for a short story i could read you guys a short story how about that if i can find one uh, there's culture, nonfiction. Oh, they have foreign language learning, too. Forgot that was a thing. Um, they've got, let's see, Czech basic words, introduction to Farsi, ASL for beginners, advanced guide to Portuguese, beginner guide to Portuguese, Spanish to English, French, Polish, and the list goes on. There's all kinds of stuff. 
Yeah, my mic always sounds weird. I don't know why I have issues with it. I just do. Partially because I'm sick. It doesn't help that I can't talk louder. Oh yeah, so the animal section. There's like birds of paradise books. Snail facts. I found one the other day that was like facts about pizza and the origins of pizza. Which I found interesting. If you go upstairs, there's three other levels. Roblox games. Roblox economy. We've got so much. Roblox legends. How much you want to bet the legend of the blue girl is going to be there? For uh, our Royal High fans. <laughs> Roblox fiction. Uh, second floor. Second floor. Over here. I see you. I'm behind you. I'm back here. <laughs> I'm jumping in white. <laughs> So there's Roblox Legends right here. Roblox Mysteries, Myth Info, The Truth Behind, You Lifer, John Doe, etc. We've got children's books, which is kind of cool. Comedy, more children's books, fantasy, uh, bunch of fantasy, holy crap. Oh my goodness. There's actually a science fiction. Science fiction, reference, psychology, math, English, <laughs> history. Where was the history of pizza? I found it yesterday. I don't know if it's in this section. yeah, this one's pretty neat. You can just come in here and quite literally you could spend days just reading everything in here. But they're always adding things. It's actually pretty neat. Roblox groups. There's more children's books. We can go upstairs again too. Oh, there's a library manager here. Interesting. I didn't realize there was... Oh, I almost fell off. <laughs> no fell off. Oh, poetry's uh, third floor, by the way. Um, there's like, I like all foods. Pudding. The table. Have y'all seen the new Jojo Siwa? That, that, that video is something else, man. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I was like, oh god. I didn't. Critics, action, life learn, relationships, okay, they've got like, dude, miscellaneous, cello and the injector, okay, games, the history of Tetris, dude, yeah, we're on the third floor. We're just kind of wandering around. And then you have all the coding sections. So, like, you have all about functions, advanced Lua, um, let's see, the basics of building games, how to script on Roblox, the basics. Let's see. Art of Obbies. C-frames. Using weight wisely. All kinds of stuff clans you have what else do you have in here you can go on the roof too i think roblox development more roblox development uh they have a cafe and merch adorable can you get yogurt <gasps> oh my god you can get yogurt you can get yogurt i'm gonna get chocolate and i want chocolate and vanilla <gasps> ah! They have yogurt! They have yogurt! And ice cream! This is so cute! It's reminding me of Barnes & Noble just a little bit. And it's actually adorable. Uh, they have a romance section. Historical fiction. I knew that was up here. Uh, 
There's poetry again. Let's pick a random poem. Alright, let's see. I don't know. A book of poems. On the hunt. Tempest. Ooh, Tempest sounds interesting. Round and round, all around, I can't block it, it's in me. Turn to the tempest, blow it all into clarity. Tempest my mantle, tempest my state of truth, tempest my terror, tempest thy ruth. I have lost my temper, become the tempest, majestic in the alarm, sets it all to one sound, the wind. Tempest I am, tempest thee be scared, tempest the rage, tempest gray and cloud, then burgundy of boiling blood, tempest. I don't know who it's, who's it by? It's by Cool Datron 456, and it was published in 2020. That's crazy. Is there? Oh my god. Oh, it's got pictures! It's got pictures! You all see the picture? That's adorable! Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> that's so cute! Aww. <laughs> but yeah, there's like, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> really? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ooh, there's a little art room, guys. This is cute. I think... I think you can send them art in their Discord and they'll put it here or something. Looks like that one's photography. There's some photography as well. That's really cool. Yeah, I think they have a Discord, if I remember right. That's how you... um. You give them book ideas and stuff too. Is I think you can reach out to the librarians in the Discord specifically, and it's so cute. How to make slime? Oh, that's a cute little picture. That's adorable. All right. So this one's by uh, Dagami Girl XXXX. This book will teach you how to make slime. Have you ever tried to make slime but failed? Have you ever wanted to make slime? This book will teach you all the steps to making good slime. Tells you what you need and then how to make it. Hope this book helped. Enjoy your slime. So they've got like a life learning section. This is cute. Dude, I love this. That book is real. Yeah, some of these are actually pretty helpful. And a lot of them are fact-checked and stuff, so, like, um, like, the History of Pizza one, it talked about, like, all of the different historical, like, where pizza was founded. Um, yeah. It's kind of cool. The importance of tone indicators. 25 bad pickup lines. Oh, here we go. So it's by Insanity and Serenity. You guys ready for this? One, your hands look heavy. Let me hold them for you. Two, are you Google? Because you have everything I'm searching for. Three, you know who's beautiful? Read the first word. Four, call me Ariel because I want to be part of your world. Five, on a scale of one to America, how free are you tonight? <laughs> Six, was that an earthquake? Because you just rocked my world. <laughs> All right, well, let's use one more. Um, you've... <laughs> 13. You've ob wandered into my heart. Oh, my God. I love this so much. <laughs> w Riz. <laughs> How to write poems. Surviving depression. How to YouTuber. Oh. I gotta get guides here, you guys. Successfully, 
<laughs> this guide will help you successfully, YouTuber. If you want to know my channel name, it's High Five Ghost Five. If you want to know how to become a successful YouTuber, you've come to the right book. To become a YouTuber, please follow these instructions. Step one, first you need to make a YouTube channel, and then explains how to do that. Step two, now what you need to do is make your first video. Oh, uh, where's step three? Oh. Step four, once you've hit about 100,000 subscribers, you get a real silver play button reward. If you've hunt hit 1 million subscribers, you get a real gold play, and if you hit 10 mil subscribers, you get the one and only, a real diamond play button. Made of real diamonds. Crazy, right? Hello, readers. I hope you have become a successful YouTuber. If you want to subscribe to my channel, my channel name is yada yada. Sorry if don't make... Oh, God. English. If don't have that much subscribers because it's hard to become a successful YouTuber, but you'll get there one day. Thank you for reading my guide. Thank you, kind sir. That helped me exponentially. All right. Let's see. More, oh, wow, there's actually a lot more life learn over here. The Ebola virus. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole book on it. OCD, a comprehensive guide. I was seeing something like how to identify if you're autistic or not and like how to get help for it and like appointments you should be attending to help you. It's kind of interesting. There's all kinds of stuff. Let's see. What's a natural diet? Setting up an IV. That's interesting. I feel like the person who wrote the how-to YouTube guide has a good sense of humor. Absolutely. Without a doubt. I feel like most YouTubers do. If, even if we just have small bases. I feel like most of us have at least a decent sense of humor. Sports. How to play American football. Music. Conduct. Scammers. All about scam bots. What is mini modding? A noob's guide. I don't know. Maybe, maybe like life learn. Maybe like life learn. I feel like that would be somewhere in here. I, th I want to say they use a, an actual, like, coding library placement thing for the books as well. <laughs> Rocket launch, disaster safety guide, journalism, how to build and start a fire. Oh, that could be useful. The tides meet the sand. Uh, Eternity's Zombie Survival Book. How to Troll Like a Boss. <laughs> oh, goodness. Paradise. Uh, there's one about writing. Be humble. Hold up, let me charge my avatar. Or change my avatar. Art of Debating. What book is it, Lino? <laughs> wait, wait, let me... Life Explained. Oh, I see! It's about the understanding life. I see. That seems deep. How to write a petition. That's good information for you guys. Those are pretty simple, and I'd recommend it. I, uh, I I wrote my first petition, I kid you not, at like 10 years old, because my little city library was going to close down. They said they didn't have the funds, so I wrote a petition, and I got over, I think, 150 people to sign it. And then I marched it straight up to the mayor's house. Keep in mind, it's a little small town, a little teeny tiny town. I walked it straight up to the mayor's house, and I said, you're not going to close our library. Here's my petition. And the dude just looked at me, just this look on his face like, ah, um, I'm dealing with a 10-year-old. <laughs> it was pretty great. The look on his face was priceless. Surviving school. This could be helpful for some of y'all out there.
Oh, okay. Okay. Middle school. I'm not going to lie to you. If you haven't gone through middle school, it sucks. In my experience, it's a boring period of your life full of hormones and homework. Not wrong. I absolutely hated it. Here's some tips so you can hopefully hate it less. Make friends. Good friends are a great way to make it through your boring day. Just don't get involved with dramatic people. Very true. Been there. Done that. Just don't do it. Trust me. Don't date. You heard me. Don't. Middle school relationships are stupid and pointless. Don't waste your time or emotions on Timmy or Jennifer. They aren't worth it. I like this person. This is so funny. <laughs> Three, do your homework. Just do it. It'll help you get good classes in high school and help you get a nice, fruitful life. Middle school grades don't matter that much, so don't stress, but still do the work. It'll help you get good habits for high school. Do things outside of school. Going to school, going home, doing homework, scrolling through social media, going to sleep, and then repeating every day gets so boring. Pick up an instrument, read a book, hang out with friends, do something to make life more fun. And that's a great, great tip for adulting, too. So if you guys are out of school entirely, switch it up, because schedules get overwhelming. They get annoying. You feel like you're doing the same thing all the time. And a good rule of thumb for those that are in relationships, if you get married, there's a good rule of thumb that a lot of people, like, kind of push a little bit, where they say, um, I think it's like the 222 rule. So the 222 rule states that every two weeks, you go out for the weekend. Every two months, you go out for, oh wait, no, no. Every two weeks, it's an overnight, no. <laughs> it's a day trip somewhere. Every two months is an over weekend trip so like you'd leave Friday and you'd come back Sunday and then every two years you would take a big trip for over a week or over five days somewhere in there and it helps you reset and kind of switch things up so you don't feel burned out and it's super super good tips for staying close in your marriage and stuff too because it can get a little overwhelming when you've got all this stuff that has to be done and you lose track of just focusing on each other or what you need to do and yeah, it's, it's a good tip. It's a very good tip. Have something to look forward to after school every day. Very true. Like, even with adulting, I'll be like, you know, I feel like crap today. So, maybe I'll pick a dinner that I've been looking forward to making all week. Or, like, let's just say I've been craving chicken parm. Maybe Friday evening I'll make myself chicken parm. So I have something to look forward to to get me through the week. That's a very good tip. It is. <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting. You guys want to go check out the next game? Yeah? I feel like we got a pretty good, pretty good sense of what this is. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. I genuinely might come back and just play music and read a bunch of books, like, after stream. <laughs> <laughs> Malia's over it. She's like, I'm sick of libraries. Get me out of here. <laughs> Poor Malia. <laughs> I enjoy it. It's really cool. I thought they did a really good job with this. So if you guys like libraries and you want a fully functioning library where you can read books or enter books, check out Roblox Library 2024 by Clan Drone. That one is really cool. I highly recommend. I think there's some stuff outside too that we didn't see, actually. I think there's like a sitting area and stuff. Oh boy, here we go. We have crazy cards. So this one is like apples to apples. Sort of, if you guys have ever played that. Or like Cards Against Humanity. Oh, free private servers. Perfect. Here we go. Okay, customize. Boop. All right. And it fits nine, so we're good. We've got plenty of space. <laughs> this one's pretty fun. All right, is that everyone? Mm, mm. We're missing, uh, Lido. That's what we're missing. I was like, we're missing somebody. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, we lost somebody. I think that was Malia. There she is. All right. Oh, sticks the judge. <laughs> A gamer. <laughs> you know, that's fair. 300 big packs. Oh, God. My least favorite cousin. A child. <laughs> what? <laughs> 300 million Robux. Same. Dude. <laughs> 300 Big Macs. Very nice. Good choice. Oh, okay. This one should be good. <laughs> Since they talk about being old all the time. <laughs> Lenny. Roblox on the PS5. Grandma's delicious apple crumble. Simon Cowell. <laughs> Not on cat. Oh, that's a good one, too. I've got to go with Simon. He really was. Like, most of my childhood, everyone was always talking shit about Simon Cowell. Always. <laughs> Honestly, not really. There's there is a chat function, thank goodness. It makes it so much easier. Coming to a console near you. Crazy, it was crazy once. They locked me in a row. No! Donkey. Beating kids in video games, bros. Vehicular manslaughter, bro. <laughs> God. That one's dark, but it's funny. <laughs> yes! Oh god. Oh no. A free candy man. <laughs> Mouthwash. Throwing a child, yes. That is my new favorite. I love that. That rich girl from school. Twenty-three thousand nine hundred thirty-one chicken wings. Tooting. Not showering for three weeks. Luigi. Consuming multiple watermelons. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, this one's nasty, but you know what? We're going for it. 
This one's gross. <laughs> Achoo! <laughs> the big apple. Ham and hamster, oh god! Dia's turn. You know, I feel like I feel like this one's accurate. Preschool. <laughs> Dia Marrying my neighbor. Russia. Yes. Grandma's knitted sweater, oh my god. Oh Getting abducted by aliens, that's fair. <laughs> that one was pretty great. <laughs> I thought Russia was the next best thing, I'm like, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Sorry, we don't allow blank. At school. Hmm. Oh. I'm gonna go with this one. My dog giving me terrible life advice. Four guys. Crying. <laughs> ah. This game. This is so funny. Yeah, so what? They just shut down Roblox because of. I feel like this is relatable. I just. I don't know, man. <laughs> For people. <laughs> Way too many boogers. Oh god. <laughs> yes! Yes! Eh, got there one. Alright, so we want to run one more, or do we want to go ahead and swap games? What do you guys think? Okay. Yeah, we'll do one more. It went pretty fast. 300 million Robux. Socially awkward penguin. That is something I would say. Spaghetti hoops. Big chungus. <laughs> <laughs> Having a bad day. Oh, I'm stuck between a socially awkward penguin and big chungus because those are both so good. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with this one. This is something I would say, I think. Yeah, Cather. <laughs> Stick. To a blank roll. Oh. Why is it so <laughs> I feel like mine's spinning. I don't know. Ninja Turtle. <laughs> vroom vroom. Pogo stick. Elon Musk. <laughs> 
it and run. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Cobbler's kicking our butt again already. Fake news, just blank, just doesn't exist. <clears throat> oh, this one's good. This one's real good. The man. Turning into a zombie, ah. <laughs> England. <laughs> a lion named Samantha. A crappy Roblox zombie. <laughs> yes! <sighs> Today's video, I am... Oh, I feel like this one's fitting. <clears throat> Dancing banana. Grandma's cabbage soup. Stealing hundreds of diamonds. Furries. didn't pick your actual prompt. Yeah, I it kind of bugs out sometimes. I live I live my life for one thing. Oh, this is perfection. This is it's beautiful. <laughs> oh god. No. No. That boy. That's relatable. <laughs> Flamethrower that shoots rainbows? Yes! That would fuel my life. I know that for a fact. Yes! <laughs> Dude! Cother's kicking our ass! Now playing blank. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Throwing a tantrum. Yes. Yes. Another boring story from Grandpa. Choo choo. Washing my hands. Oh god. <laughs> oh, Malia's turn. Listen up, there will be no blank in this building. It's not just random. <laughs> Literally. No! Don't do Shrek like that! A crybaby. You know, that's relatable. Beating up Jeff. Poor Jeff. Very fast. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> oh the um the uh I'm trying to think of the name of it. I know what you're talking about though. Oh, are you guys ready for Eat the World? <clears throat> that one's fun. Is it free? Oh it's free! Nice. Just name it the crew again, like I always do. It's 
pretty funny. It is very funny, and you can, like, throw things at people and kill them. Oftentimes I'll get, like, really, really big, and if someone's, like, picking on someone else, I'll get massive and then just start chucking pieces of earth at them. It's pretty funny. I get big so fast, too. <clears throat> Malia likes this one. I played this one with Malia and Sono, I think. I want to say Sono. Oh, I'm already getting massive. Malia's catching up, though. <clears throat> munch, munch. This one's quite relaxing. It's kind of like uh, eat drywall a little bit. <laughs> yes, that one's pretty fun. I need to put it back on the list. <laughs> I can get, like, actually huge. That would be fun. I feel like most of the time they get brought up and put back on the list so often, though. Like, I think Dressu and Press is on there for the sixth time in the last couple months. Yes. <laughs> oh, interesting. I think I was hearing about that, like, this weekend or something. Possibly. Oh, okay. Oh, fancy. Yeah, please do. I can definitely add that to updates. <laughs> yeah, I can add that to updates and stuff. Yeah, basically you use um, what you sell to uh, buy like size upgrades and speed upgrades and then you can get bigger and bigger and bigger. I think my biggest is like 9k. I want to say it's like 9k. I can get massive. <laughs> Me too, Lito. Me too. Lito said he loves the game. Me too. Oh, you good, Stick? Malia's catching up fast, dude. You can see this? We need to play this more. Yes, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I'm only like 200 off from Malia, I think. I can start eating trees. Nom nom. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Oh, I did too. What in the world? What just happened? What? I, I'm I'm here. I just got like shocked for a second. That was so weird. <laughs> oh no. I can eat trees, you guys. I can eat trees. <laughs> but yeah, this one's called Eat the World. It's kind of funny. Eventually you can start like ripping down buildings and shit to like kill other people. And if you kill other people, you get the amount that they were worth. So like... If I kill someone that's worth a thousand, I could get, I think, like, 500 back from that or something. Okay. You get at least a little bit for killing them. <clears throat> oh my god, Cawther, you're so tiny! Hi, Cawther. <laughs> you're, like, the size of my hand. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, the holes start getting real big because we can, like, grab more and all that fun stuff. You see this? Look at how much I grabbed, Dia. Oh <laughs> I am massive right now. I'm almost 2k already. I can eat it. <laughs> you can eat it. Num num tree. Yeah, so you can throw it at people and stuff. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it's E. But you can knock people over and daze them and kill them. With, uh... And obviously, the bigger you are, the harder it hits. Num num. I don't think anyone hit me, though. But it can fling you. Like, if someone bigger than you hits you, it can absolutely fling you off the map. Without a doubt. 
Oh, I like grabbed wrong. Oh, that was weird. Nom nom. God, I'm huge. <laughs> Malia's getting pretty big too. Oh, new map. It's a new map. It'll change out eventually. Because eventually you get so big. Eventually you get so big that the map will start disappearing. Like, super quickly. Because you can take so many big chunks. <laughs> I don't know the biggest scale you can get, actually. I've seen some really big people that make me look like nothing, though. Even when I'm at, like, 9k. <laughs> oh, you can throw things at buildings as well. To break them. In case you didn't know that. And trees and things. So, let's say you're in a public area and you really want to kill someone. You can break the house they're in by throwing things at it to get them to come out. It's pretty useful. I want to eat this building over here. Num num. Num num num. <laughs> Hi, stick. Hi. You having fun up there? God, I'm huge. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, stick. Not much. <laughs> Just eating the building. <laughs> oh yeah sometimes when you break stuff you'll get like a block um and it can be silver or gold and it'll give you extra points Ooh, okay. which is kind of nice num 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 How in the world did you get around the sensor, Malia? Oh my goodness. She said badass. I don't know how she got around the sensor. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, it's wild. Stick tried to say it too. It didn't work. <laughs> Lito whacked me and got bonked. I won't kill you. I won't kill you. I am a but a merciful god. <laughs> he bonked me and I just hit him for like 99% of his health. Oh, goodness. <laughs> now Lena was saying it. How in the world? How are you bypassing it? I don't think it's a 17 plus game. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, as long as you capitalize the first letter. That is so weird. Good to know. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Only this. <laughs> you can only say it once? Six thousand. Wait, can I hit twelve k? Is that how big I can get? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I'm massive. Hi, Cother. You like my tree? I'm having a little. S <laughs> I'm having a little snacky snack. Who wants to see my tree? I see the road over here. I'm like, I'm not laying in the road. 
I got my tree! You like my little snacky snack, do ya? <laughs> yeah, um, so the bottom bar, it'll show you how tall or how full it is. Um, and then it'll say, like, sell it, basically. New map. It changes out occasionally, it just doesn't get boring or overrun. You're gonna eat the bridge? <laughs> Nom nom nom. <laughs> oh my god, Molly is so tiny. You guys see this? I'm in the middle of the road. I'm in the middle of the road right next to Malia. God. Malia's like base like spawn in size look at how massive i am oh my god ak right now <laughs> holy crap i'm massive like actually huge i'm grabbing chunks so big i'm hitting the base plate are you seeing this so big i'm hitting the base plate <laughs> it's so big I'm massive I'm like three fourths of my max height too I can get so much bigger wait 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 do ya, do ya. let me eat this real quick okay so you see how that's full you ready I'm gonna grab this chunk base plate <laughs> base plate <laughs> I'm just gonna I mean, I'm a little bit faster because I've bought the, like, speed upgrades, but... <laughs> Your tree! Watch. I'm gonna have a little snacky snack with this tree over here. Oh, <laughs> a little snacky snack for the road? Aw, it's okay, Amelia. No worries. Oh my goodness. I'm still not max. I'm almost 11k now. When I reset, we'll, we'll swap games. Because we've been here for a while. But this one's a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> it's, it's already almost three. Ish. And we started it too. Nom nom. Nom nom. Let's see what my max height is. Nom 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 nom. I think it's like 12k or something. Sure enough. 12k even. Oh my god. I'm huge. <laughs> I'm so big! I can line up with this bridge right here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm huge! Oh! Wait, who's on the trampoline? Oh, it's Cother. Cother's eating the trampoline now. I'm gonna- I'm gonna jump on the trampoline. Oh my god! You gonna see this? Holy crap. <laughs> I'm huge! It jumped, jumped. I'm gigantic. No, watch this difference when I reset. You ready? Here we go, time to sell. <laughs> Dude, I can hide in my ravines over here. <laughs> I'm so tiny. <laughs> hey, Lino. Ah. <laughs> Lino. Hey, Lino. Hey, Lino. Ah. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. He's gonna kill me. If I 
get close, you can't do nothing to me. <laughs> you can't do nothing. <laughs> I just gotta hover, like, right next to you and you can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so big oh my god all right all right we're ready to swap games <laughs> perfect timing perfect timing but yeah so that was eat world by m phase that one's a lot of fun if you're bored and just kind of want to hang out um we've got pizza battle Pizza battle. We'll play like two rounds of this and then shift over. Is it free private servers? No, it's not free private servers. Dang it. Uh, there's one with three people in it though. It'll work. Have you guys played this one? It's interesting. Yeah, work at pizza place. That's a fun one. That one's on the... I was there as well, actually. <laughs> but they've got... Uh, I think we have that one on the list. Now that I think about it. But it's, like, way far down on the list. This one's kind of fun. It's only got a minute left, though. Who are we waiting on? I think we're waiting on Malia, Stick, Lido. It's alright. It's kind of fun. Okay, so give me a second. I'm sticking to the stream for now. Okay, sounds good. Alright, I think... Wait, is that you? Gother! <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to Team Me Yellow. I'm gonna do Team Yellow. Oh yeah, yeah. So we gotta place dough. Gotta place, um, select order. Oh, I don't even remember how to do that. Oh, you have to drag it to the pizza. That's what you gotta do. Okay. It took me a second. Oh, oh, here we go. The game reset. I'm gonna choose red. I'm going to. <laughs> oh, there's Lido. Lido's back. <laughs> and you can join late as well, which is kind of nice. Oh, oh, you got a random. You got. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I got you. Perfect. I got to. Okay. Okay, now you walk up and select order. And then you drag stuff to the pizza. Okay. And then I'm going to select an order and do it again. And we can, like, pre-prepare. It's just only a certain amount can go through the oven. There we go. There we go. Put the oven, and then we can put this one in the oven in a second. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Amani. Wait, who's Amani? Who do I have added the name Amani? Who's that mom? Wait, is that Z? Or I'm trying to. Oh, so you, you click it, and then you bring it over to the customer. Yeah, there you go. Doop. Boop. <laughs> oh, this works out, actually. I can drag stuff, and then put it in the oven, and then you can box it and take it to them. There we go. Uh, 
Yeah, I have Amani on my list too. I'm trying to remember who that is. I almost want to say, I don't think it's... Is it Z? Perhaps? <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna eat either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we're gonna eat. You're all alone. It's still possible to win, it's just very hard. Very, very hard. But if you like pre prepare and then siphon them through the oven, it helps a lot. Put in the oven. Ah. We took second. We got second. All right. All right. <laughs> One more round. I'm going to go back on red. <laughs> There we go. Oh, and you can like claim presents. I forgot about that. Okay, I gotcha. Is it? I don't even check behind me. here. <laughs> ah! I feel very slow. And we're not that far behind. I know what we need to do. I'm gonna pre-prepare like as much as I can. I feel like I'm angled weird. Here we go. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> Welcome back, Malia. I don't blame you. Charging and playing can be kind of annoying. Is this person one step ahead of us and she's doing it by herself oh absolutely you got it you got it you got it we're still one step behind I don't know thirty eight seconds we got this we got this Oh, that could be it. 18 seconds. This one's extra gold. Go, go, go! Go, go! <laughs> oh my god. Did we really? 
So close. So close. Alright, you guys ready for the next one? Alright, here we go. So that was uh, Pizza Battle by Think Big Bonus. It's kind of fun. Uh, next one is Forklift Simulator. Oh, we're going to have to go to a small one. They don't have any free private servers. <laughs> oh, I see. That's a level 15, Jack. Alright, so first and foremost, you grab your little, uh, your little forklift, and then you're going to be assigned one of these machines. And you've got to get yourself some boxes by hitting this uh, green button. And we got to go around. Ah! And then we got to grab our pallet. There we go. You gotta lift up the pallet. And then you'll be assigned a row where you have to put your things. <laughs> ah! There we go, okay. Okay, now we gotta line it out. Not bad. And we drop it. Voila! Dude, there's so many of us in here. <laughs> Just look at the leaderboard. <laughs> oh, goodness. I love Fridays. It's like the one day we all can actually come together and not be stressed out and just play a bunch of weird games. We find some weird ones. I will admit. <laughs> True. Those are the best ones, though. We have so much fun with them. Hi, Lido. I don't know. It's very difficult. Lido's got this in the bag, though, dude. He's, like, he's trucking. Meow. <laughs> Oh, also, you can get upgrades to make it a little bit easier, so that's good information. There's, like, a little upgrade station that looks like a workbench over by the doors. <laughs> that is fair. Oh, you're over there. So, um, walk up to that button behind it. Here, I'll come help you, Dia. <laughs> Alright, so walk up and click that green button right there. Click it multiple times until it says it's full. Keep going. You got it, you got it, you got it. Keep going. Oh, wait, that's it? Okay, so now you walk up to that pallet right there, and you slip it underneath those two holes. You can go around the front or the back or whatever you feel like you need to do. There you go. And there should be an option to raise the pallet jack. Or the little hand truck. If you're on PC, yes. Alright, and then you'll see one of these lanes are assigned to you, and you want to try to line it up as best you can. And then 
All you gotta do is walk up to where you want to place it, and then hold Q until it drops it. And yes, Leto, this is very much a 9 to 5. <laughs> I feel like a 9 to 5 is generous for a warehouse job, though. Because warehouse jobs... <laughs> I mean, Zach, uh, so he works for the local dairy. And, uh, but he works on the docks, so he moves these pallets around all the time. Without forklift, obviously. He moves these pallets around all the time. He cleans out the big old semi-trucks that have the dairy products. And then he puts the plastic containers that'll hold four gallons onto a chain that feeds into the warehouse. So he's constantly lifting and cleaning and all kinds of stuff. And there are times, he's supposed to be off at 9. There are times he's not off until 2 in the morning. When he starts at noon. <laughs> oh, I don't blame you. But yeah, it's kind of interesting. Warehouse jobs are rough. They might have the benefits and the pay, but unless you're like an 18-year-old that can handle... A crap ton of physical labor 24-7 on very little breaks. Probably not going to make it. Personally, I would quit the first day. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, Zach, Zach isn't even really quite a warehouse, but he uh, is almost just as bad. Yeah, you have to be very physically strong. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so there's, I'll show you in a second, but there's a little, um, to your left, or to your right, you'll see a bunch of doors on that wall where I'm coming from. And there should be a little area that looks like it's got a red workbench, and you just drive right up to that. Basically, I can show you in a second. There we go. Alright, so we go this way. And there's fuel if you have one of the driving forklifts. Which you can upgrade to eventually. It's this right here. And you can spend the money you're making on uh, stuff. I did. I was getting a question. I was like, uh. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Run you over with the pallet jack? <laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> Oh, 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 we missed it the first time. We've got a few more. <laughs> now I'm running you over, I didn't see you. <sighs> Heck yeah. Safety in the workplace, my friends. <laughs> All right, where's the upgrade? Um, so uh, come straight to me, Leto. I'm right over here. Yeah, swing on over here, and then there's this little upgrade station over here, and then there's refuel if you get one of the drivable forklifts. Alright, well, do you guys want to swap games? I know this one gets a little repetitive. I planned for this one to not take very long. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's next. Uh, idiotic infesting. You guys are going to love this. Let's see. Is there... Oh, perfect. I already had one. Nice. Wait, is it only four people? I gotta double. I gotta double check that. Oh no, it's six. You can have six. 
I think that's just, wait, let me double check. Um, me, Leto, Dia, Stick, Cawther, Malia. Am I missing anyone? Okay, that's perfect then. It should fit all of us. This one's a lot of fun. So basically it'll have you draw art and then people bid on it. One of them is a fake. One of them is a real, like worth a ton of money and you have to kind of figure it out if I remember right. It's a very interesting game. Oh, I see. I'm trying, man. No. There we go. Yeah, it's a little rough. It doesn't have to be perfect though, just rough sketches. Also, you can buy loans if you don't have enough to get a piece, but uh, it's risky. <laughs> shit talking <laughs> hoping this is what I think it is. If this is taking notes, it's worth 
surge. Also, another tactic, you can have people drive up their bids to make them lose money, too. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, sounds good. It might not let you join immediately, but it should let you join next round. scream. That's what I sound like when I'm like hyper at two in the morning. Oh, oh, that was hefty. Oh, there's, there's Lido. Sure. made a good profit off of that. Oh my goodness. You can use the screw to keep someone's uh, bid at that same price. So you can jack up the price and then screw them, and then they're stuck at that. Oh no! My Roblox quit. Oh no! It did. One moment. I'm here. Again. <laughs> Uh, you can put it on someone to either help them win the bid or make them lose a shit ton of money. <laughs> I'm gonna lose so much here. I'm so scared. I'm scared. 
I'm scared. I know this is drama. I know this is drama because I drew it. Mm hmm. I don't know how much it's worth, though. Oh, God. Ooh, I got a profit. Thank God. It's something. I'll take it. I know. I'm low on money. I know. Sure. Hi, Malia. By the way. Oh, I know what this is. I think it's good. Oh, dang. All the loans, my goodness. Oh. I think this one might be taking notes. It's worth 3500 Oh no! Oh no! Ludo, no! He's gonna lose so much money. I'm scared. He might have made some money off of it. I don't know. If it's taking notes, he lost money. Oh, yeah. It was taking notes. You did? Oh, no. Look, it'll lose so much money. Oh no. If this one's overdue work, it's $900. Oh no. Poor Malia. Is that the bank I hear? 
have no idea how this game works. So basically, at the start of the round, everyone creates different um, sketches. And then some are very, very similar, and you have to guess which one's the fake and which one's the real one. If it's the real one, you want to try to make a profit. Or fake people out into buying uh, more than it's worth. Oh, wow. Sticks kicking butt. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh my god! Not too bad. Not really. No, most of the time it was telling me who to sabotage and not really what to buy. GG. Did it really? Huh. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for the last game? Ah, uh, that's fair. Bye. Bye. Alright, so I found the deepest pool on Roblox. There we go. Wee. Oh no, I have the hiccups. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Alright. Down we go. And it's quite literally just a massive pool. Does it? I didn't even realize you were in here already. <laughs> Malia has a speed coil. Probably for the best, Malia. It's gonna take forever otherwise. Oh my goodness, this thing is so big. Like, it's actually kind of massive. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. 
feel like that's how disorienting, like, scuba diving and shit is, too. Despacito spider? Wow. I'm coming for you, Gother. I'm, like, right above you. <laughs> Bye, Gother. <laughs> I am going pretty fast, I will admit. I like, I'm swimming down, but I'm just aggressively spinning in circles and heading straight down the center. And it seems to be working because I'm starting to catch up to you already. Mm-hmm. I caught up to Cawther already. This music's really annoying. <laughs> That's fair. The skulls. Got the coil, nice. Very nice. Oh my god, it's Friday! <laughs> Are you guys happy it's Friday? I'm happy it's Friday. Oh no. I Yeah, I forgot yours is over the weekend, isn't it? Dear God, they weren't kidding. This is really deep. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Too? That was Cawther dying. That was Cawther resetting. Did she? I didn't even see it. Is this even worth swimming down for? I kind of want to know what's at the bottom. Low key. I wonder- do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Royal High, trying to go up that damn chimney for Christmas. It took so long! And you couldn't figure out which way was up and which way was down at one point. Only difference is this is wider. Do you? Oh, yeah, I was seeing that. <laughs> oh, there's Lido. <laughs> He's got a speed coil. Oh, sure enough, there is a bottom. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, I see that. Oh, interesting. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm almost here. I just passed that brain poster. <laughs> In case y'all are curious, what's at the bottom? Whoa! Oh my god, SpongeBob, is that you? Oh! Did I freeze? Oh, I got the award. I got the award, but there was, like, Spongebob. Oh, 
Oh. And like, oh, there's a red suit. Cute. <laughs> Bob of the sponge. There is a level two. Nobody has made it to the bottom of level, level two. I mean, with how long level one took, that would not surprise me. Wait, how did you get the speed coils? Did you guys buy it? Ah! Interesting. You know, if no one's gotten to the bottom of level two, that makes me wonder if the speed coils don't even work on this part. <laughs> or if it doesn't even matter, it's so big. Oh, wow. You can buy the mega speed coil. Yeah, I would, but I'm broke. <laughs> I don't know if I want to swim all the way down there. I think I'm going to come back up. <laughs> Welcome back, Stick. I guess maybe we should call it there, you guys. Definitely some interesting ones today, that's for sure. Level <laughs> 2. Oh, goodness. Dang. Nice. <clears throat> we've got, like... I don't know. We've got a good safety nut in ours. But we're trying to save up for a house. So we're trying to get a down payment on a house within the next couple of years. So we are kind of aggressively saving right now. Ideally, we will have our own house in, like, two to three years. Hopefully, if all goes well, unless the market gets even worse. But, yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and call it there, you guys, I guess. But thanks thanks for hanging out. It was fun. Yeah. Bye. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you drink lots of water this weekend and you travel safely. Um, yeah, I love you guys. See you Monday.